Shift now, guys. that she had to endure yet another attack today, even as she was testifying for the President of the United States, is just appalling. Uh, but as we have observed so often, appalling in this administration is not the least bit surprising. Uh, nonetheless, uh, she endured the attack and went on. Uh, we are grateful for that. Um, but it is quite clear that, I think from her testimony as well as others, that. Rudy Giuliani and the President felt it was necessary to get her out of the way. Uh, that notwithstanding what the President and others were told about her dedication to country, her commitment to fighting corruption, um, if anything, her commitment to fighting corruption was part of the reason why she was pushed out. Um, pushing her out made it possible to put in the three amigos uh, to conduct Ukraine policy. This is a part of a, a pattern to intimidate witnesses. Um, and it's also part of a pattern to obstruct the investigation. Uh, it was also a part, frankly, of the pattern to obstruct justice. Uh, and so we need to view the president's actions today uh, as part of a broader um, and incriminating pattern of conduct. Is that why you're how would you describe how this has advanced over the first, now that the two days are in the books? I think I was interrupted about six times uh, throughout the hearing. So this is just more of the ridiculous abuse of power that we're seeing from Adam Schiff. I think one of the most important facts that came across today, Ambassador Yovanovitch testified that the president can appoint ambassadors at will. That is important. Um, the president has a right to pick who his or her ambassadors are. These hearings are not about tweets. They are about impeachment of the President of the United States. This is a constitutional matter. You can disagree or dislike the tweet, but we are here to talk about impeachment and nothing in that room today and nothing in that room earlier this week. Nothing rises to the level, level of impeachable offenses. This is wishful political thinking by the Democrats. This is not the first or last tweet that they're going to complain about, but we are talking about impeachment and there is not a single fact uh, that is impeachable in terms of this president. Was that tweet intimidating? Would you consider it intimidating? No, the witness was able to answer questions. As you saw, the only people that were limited from asking questions were Republican members because we were muzzled by Adam Schiff. Well, uh, excuse me. I don't know that it was an attack on the witness. It was it was really a characterization of of her resume. And when when you look at this, when you look at this, you guys want him to go in with no attorneys, no witnesses, no Twitter, no anything. You know, at some point you got to say when is it going to be a fair process? And today was not a fair process in there. It's not going to be a fair process in the bunker that we're about to have to go to. And it was not a fair process when they muzzled the gentlewoman from New York over and over again, it's not fair.